It really hurt me when they killed Stan. Nobody knew who to shoot. We didn't even have a plan. He sold me my first gun. He held my first son. If I was with him shooting it out, bitch, we the one. I shed tears for my niggas who ain't here. They tattooed and spit that real shit to remember him, bitch. I'm that dude. Catch a op and spit on his baby daughter. I'm that rude. Right at 3 o'clock, as soon as he get out of school. You killed my dude. I don't give a fuck about you. I hope somebody killed you in case I never found you. T-shirts, man, for everybody that ain't got it, I'm gonna keep saying it, dog. You need to become a brand ambassador like my homeboy, Boo! JT the Barber, you know what I'm saying? Hey, JT, I need to cut my dog again, you know what I'm saying? I need to hook me up, my dog, but yeah, 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 check it out, dog. You need to become a brand ambassador, dog. Don't you want to be a fucking model, nigga? I'm a model, they know what I mean when I do my little turn on the catwalk. Nigga, this the catwalk, nigga. Don't you want to do your little turn on the catwalk? You feel me, my nigga? I make a model out of niggas and ladies and everything else. You know what I'm saying? No homosexuality. Homosexuality. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, dog. I get thousands of views. You know what I'm saying? You get a little couple of likes on your Instagram. That's cool. But thousands of people will view you here in your blase spleen. T and the rest of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Every day, nigga. Oh, 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 oh. I don't play. Yeah. I'm every day. Ooh, wee. This shit good, dog. You know what I'm saying? This shit right here good, dog. Now let's check. Hey, hey, let's talk about Oscarville dismantling Kevin Gray's organization, dog. Dismantle. You know what I'm saying? Heavy. It's heavy, dog. According to Timothy Heafy, a former USA, a former assistant U.S. attorney in Washington, Oscarville was largely responsible for dismantling the most violent drug organization that Washington has ever seen. You DC niggas get in the comments and tell me, was that the most violent organization that Washington had ever seen? Or were they just throwing sauce on it? You know what I'm saying? I don't know about the sauce it might have had to be, like I say, for a 12-year run in D.C. The way you niggas make it seem, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 hey, that just seems unheard of. Y'all say Cornell Jones and uh, his, his aunt Linwood Gray did the shit or whatnot, had 10-year runs or what have you, but that ain't 12. <laughs> ain't nobody named nobody that done ran it for 12. You know what I'm saying? With an iron fist like that and a trail of bodies leading behind it. But hey, it is what it is. Now they say Ville shot and killed seven people as a contract killer for a large drug ring and murder for hire operation. Now here's the question. Who are these niggas? You feel me? I know y'all gonna get tired of me referencing Detroit. I don't give a fuck. I'm from the D, nigga. That's how we do. But uh, a murder for hire operation was the best friends in Detroit and that in their day and era. You know what I'm saying? It's like I told y'all in the Baby Sam video. If y'all ain't seen the Baby Sam video, scroll down my playlist, man, and go check out Baby Sam, man. Real big nut nigga from New York City back in the day. Real heavy-handed nigga, you feel me? By all accounts. And they were murderers. Well-known killers that got money second. The best friends will kill your ass. They decided to sell dope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he is part of a murder for hire organization according to the paperwork or whatnot and everything else. So what's this organization's name? You know what I'm saying? Why did I, I, I want to know that. That's what I'm on next. I want to know who he worked for. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, who he really worked for. They contracted him to do shit for the Kevin Gray organization. But who is the, the, the ring? You know what I'm saying? Who is that organization? You did what I'm talking about? Who, who headed that murder for hire operation, dog? Now dig this here. Um, let's say he cooperated with prosecutors and became a star witness for the government. Kevin Gray, the lead defendant in one case in which Bill testified alone, was convicted in Washington of taking part in a record 19 murders. Now how was that a record murders? See, that's the, the crazy shit about the feds and everything else. How was that the record? 
19 murders is heavy. You know what I'm saying? But didn't Wayne Perry say he did over 100 some shit? 33 bodies at first, then 100 murders? And you know, people told me too that Wayne Perry was taking bodies off of other motherfuckers like Draper. I think Draper is his cousin, nephew. They say he tried to take some bodies off him to, to take his time or whatever the fuck ever. And he's supposed to did that to a few other individuals too. So that number of 100, who knows how true that is? 100 bodies? I always looked at that kind of strange. That's that's Chris Kyle numbers, nigga. You know who Chris Kyle is, don't you? You ever seen that movie American Sniper? The best sniper that ever lived, nigga, by United States history uh, dynamics. Chris Kyle never missed a mark, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They drop him in to kill whoever. And he'll do it from long distance. You know what I'm saying? But did. 19 murders is the record, though. That's interesting. Um, they say uh, Ville could have faced the death penalty instead for his cooperation. No, they said instead he has completed about half of his 12, half of his 25 year prison term, um, less than four years for each execution style murder he committed. Wow. Four years, what they give you four years for? Larceny. Larceny carry a what, a one to four? You know what I'm saying? So he got larceny for murders. He got larceny numbers is what they saying for execution style murders, nigga. That's what the, the paper was like. I told y'all in the last video, the, the papers was, they, they got some shit called snitching.org. I don't know if y'all is hip to that. And they ain't paying me for promotion, so I ain't should have said they shit. But that's, look on that shit. They got a lot about different underworld characters that took deals and shit like that and got loose. And the states that do this and the feds that do this. And how they feel, I guess motherfuckers feel some type of way that these type of individuals are able to walk the streets again. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving a second chance that life permitted all the shit that they did. Like my man, he said he he, conf he basically confessed in court to killing seven motherfuckers. Now who knows how many other motherfuckers he murdered? Seven was the magic number. I can stop here. This is enough. I ain't gotta say, oh, okay, this is enough to give me four years for each murder or whatnot, homeboy. You feel me? Shit crazy, dog. Um, it's saying 2005, at his 2005 sentencing, a relative of the victim said she will pray into her dying breath that Bill never sees the streets again. Well, he probably all not. You know what I'm saying? They said he had completed half of that shit already. Like I told y'all on the left, that nigga probably out somewhere right, fuck, right down now working at the goddamn Popeye's or the chicken shack. Or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Straight up under a whole new identi identity. You feel me? Um, attorneys, what they say, attorneys for the men he testified against portrayed him as a snitch willing to lie in court to save himself. Of course they would. Shit, he facing the fucking death penalty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's facing the death penalty. But one thing for sure, though, they wouldn't have put his ass up there. He killed them folks. For all intents and purposes, he said he did, so I ain't saying shit. He killed them folks. He gave them folks the information that matched. That one thing about them deals, like Poe said, if something, don't, if, if something don't come back right, ain't no fucking deal. And he got the deal. You feel me? So he had to give them motherfuckers everything he needed to give them. You feel me? It's a couple underworld figures I'm going to get into later on in the year if I get time. That took deals that got revoked. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody talking about that shit. You feel me? Because the deal was revoked. So by all intents and purposes to the public, they still stand up niggas. You know what I'm saying? They didn't snitch. They didn't try to do it. But niggas tried to. <laughs> they just lied in the mix of it. They tried to keep something out. Something didn't add up in the end. And hey, the deal got snatched. But to you, that's still a reputable individual in the underworld that ain't never did this and that and other death before dishonored. You know what I'm saying? You know how you niggas be. Now dig this here. Um, they say Ville is in an undisclosed prison. Ville is in an undisclosed, undisclosed prison. But the story of his crimes and cooperation are revealed in thousands of pages of recently obtained transcripts and law enforcement and court documents that shed light on the little known details prosecutors say they must take to put away violent criminals even if it means letting someone, even if it means that some killers like Ville 
who cooperate will be free again. See, that's what I mean. That, that was the little paper uh, clip right there and shit that was saying they, they pissed off. He get gold pink, nigga, every motherfucking day. Nigga, my motherfucking mouth dropped, dog. You know what I'm saying? I started stuttering and shit. Smoking on that motherfucking pine oil, nigga. Motherfucking rattlesnake. Chopper. I don't know what the fuck they call it. Shit loud though. That's all I say. But yeah. It say um documents portray the man who called killing a job, who shot victims in the back of the head, and who once took a payoff of seven thousand dollars and two bottles of champagne within sight of the FBI building in Washington, DC. Now, if I if you contract me to do a murder and you Pay me with champagne, it's a double homicide. I just killed that nigga for no reason in that one too. Well, no, that one, I killed him for a reason because he made me kill him with, under the intention that I was going to get some money and he came with fucking champagne, man. The fuck is wrong with these niggas, dog? I'm telling you, dog. But like I said, like I said to you guys before in the other video, it's the generation that bred us. And we bred these young niggas like them Chicago niggas, the New York niggas. The Detroit niggas, you know what I'm saying, that's gang banging and blowing everything the fuck away that we don't understand. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, man. It's a, it's a vicious cycle out here. You know what I'm saying? Growing up in the streets. Because shit, that's all you know, dog. If your daddy ran away, you're going to run away too. Because he left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He left. Shit, I was straight. So they'll be all right. You feel me? It's a vicious cycle out here, dog. You know what I mean? But then... Um, once arrested, Veal confessed to murders that he was not suspected in. And like I told y'all, they didn't even have no, when they arrested this nigga, there was no physical evidence. There was just the word of two informants. You feel me? But they must have been some good acting ass cops, some old, uh, uh, Denzel and training day ass niggas. We about to cook you. Oh, you federally fucked, man. You know what I'm saying? What's that? One bullet, two bullet. Oh, shit, the gas chamber. Fuck this nigga all the way up, man. He start speaking immediately. I told you, nigga. Dog, keep it a hundred. You out in the streets. You still in the streets right now, nigga. You active, right? You doing all that shooting and killing for what? Over blocks? Or to stay alive, nigga? Because the, the next nigga might take your life, right? So when a nigga like this take a deal to stay alive, is it any different? The number one mission is preserve life. You feel me? The number one mission is to preserve life, dog. I, I'm just saying, dog. Um, the first law of human nature is self-preservation. Self-preservation. If they put me and you, and you're my best friend, in a room with one gun and one bullet, and said somebody must die or both of you die, I'm going to kill you, nigga, because I love me way more than I love you, nigga, and I grew up with you from the sandbox, dog. And I love you. But I love me more, nigga. And I'm a murderer so I can walk out of that fucking room. You see what I'm saying, dog? Some of the logic other niggas come with be stupid when you really dig into it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> dig this. Dig this, dog. Uh, what they say he confessed to murders he was not even suspected in, professed a religious conviction, wrote apologies to the families, and expressed his desire to join the Peace Corps. What the fuck is the Peace Corps? What is that? He want to join the army? Is that what they were saying? He was a military student and shit with a 4.0. So what they saying, uh, he want to join the army? That's crazy. Uh, the U.S. Attorney Michael Britton remarked at Veal sentencing, there is no other witness, no law enforcement officer, no judge, no one who ultimately bears as much responsibility in the view of dismantling the largest criminal and most violent criminal enterprise the city has ever seen than Oscar Ville. So he dismantled Kevin Gray's organization, dog. The one and only. The same nigga that shot Roy Cobb and shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit crazy how all this shit connects. And he's also a super predator. He's on the super predators list with uh, Wayne Perry and Kevin Gray. You, you know what I'm saying? Man, that shit is crazy, dog. All I know is I'm Ozone O. This is Up For Debate TV, and you already know who it is, my baby. When you see what you see, man, God bless the real, 